so this hey guys harsh here and welcome back to technolobe today we're going to talk about gmail so gmail is one of the most important parts of our life we get a lot of emails on a daily basis and lately it's been feeling like gmail has been the worst place to go to because of spam emails promotional emails and all sorts of useless emails and i know everyone out there is facing this problem me included i did not like opening my gmail and in that process all the important emails got lost and i would miss them on a regular basis that's why i thought let's do something about this i've been researching and trying to find a solution to this problem for a long time and i finally think that i've got the right solution now this is something that works for me i have organized my gmail in a very good way and i'm going to tell you what exactly i have done if it works for you well and good if it doesn't work for you then please keep on researching but i'm pretty sure that you will get a lot of ideas from this video on how to organize your gmail and make it clutter free spam free and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today now before we move forward i'm going to give you a live demo here i'm going to order something from amazon i'm going to show you that the system works first up i'm going to start screen recording on my mac command shift 5 record and then on my phone as well because we're going to use this to order from Amazon. Now I've already added the item that I want to order in the cart. It is a matte screen protector from my iPhone 13. So proceed to buy item, place your order and pay. <laughs> and done, order placed successfully. Now as you can see in this process, I got a lot of emails. First up from Amazon for placing the order and then from Amazon for using the 30 rupees balance which I had in my you know, Amazon Pay wallet. And then from ICICI Bank because I made a transaction using their card. So let's go ahead and see how these emails were classified in my Gmail. So as you can see, there are two new emails from Amazon Pay India and credit cards. Amazon Pay India because I used the 30 rupees balance and it is personal finance because it is Amazon wallet. That's why it was automatically categorized as personal finance. And then credit cards again from ICICI Bank. Even this has been categorized as personal finance automatically by Gmail. I did not do it manually automatic categorization now where is the order confirmation email it's not available in the inbox so where did it go it went right over here in online shopping if i open online shopping first email is that your amazon order is confirmed so as you can see the system definitely works and let's go ahead and talk about it shall we all right let me quickly put my glasses on nerd mode on and here we go we are directly into my gmail now i am going to blur out a lot of information because this is my personal email so i hope you get that but anyway now as you can see there are some new emails and some of them have automatically been categorized with some labels for example this email from paytm money has been automatically categorized as personal finance then this one is categorized as pr emails so you get the point that emails have automatically been categorized as and when they come i have not done this manually it's automatic and if we scroll down you can see that almost all emails have a label so it's very easy for me to identify which email belongs to which category without even in opening the email so it's color coded i can see that personal finance is in teal color pr emails are in purple color and then technolo yt like important emails from technolo yt are in red color so the system that i have created for myself works and i'm going to call it the two pronged approach yes the two pronged approach the first and most important prongs over here is labels so as you can see on the screen on the left side i have all these labels food ordering important online shopping personal finance pr emails technolo yt traveling and unsubscribe so what what are labels labels are exactly what they sound like you can use labels on different emails to identify them properly for example if an email comes from my bank it will go into personal finance similarly if an email comes from amazon it will go into online shopping now how to create new labels it's very simple you have to navigate to the labels tab here on the left side just click on this plus icon i'm going to say new test label all right and i'm just going to create it now as soon as i click that i will get a new test label then i can go here i can say label color and i can select from all these colors or i can add a custom color from you know the color picker here so that's the first part you have to create labels and i'm going to say don't go crazy with labels keep it as simple as possible it's not like under personal finance i need to have icic bank hdfc bank you know paytm money nope everything related to personal finance will go into personal finance so keep it simple now let's move on to the next prong that is called as filters filters again is a very important prong and consider filters as an automation so whenever a new mail comes in it will automatically have a label because of the filter so how to create filters it's very simple you have to go to the search bar up top search mail now we are going to create a new filter right here and you know i'm just going to search for mails from technolobe.com so our internal emails from anurag and other team members 
I'm going to create a new filter for them. So search mail and I'm going to say technolobe.com. All right. Now, the next thing that you need to do is go to this little icon over here and click show search options. Now, once that is done, then you have all these options here from to subject has the words doesn't have size greater than basically all these are search filters. Now, I want all emails from technolobe.com to go to the technolobe YT label. So I'm just going to, you know, write has the words at the rate technolobe.com because before this there is going to be an email id for example harsh at technolobe.com business at technolobe.com anurag at technolobe.com then i'm going to select the button which is create filter so create filter and then i get all these options so first up i'm going to say that apply the label choose label technolobe yt so after this whenever a new email comes from technolobe.com it will automatically have the label technolobe yt then i have all these other options as well i can delete the emails but i don't want to do that i can never send it to spam i can send template i can always mark it as important i want to do that so always mark it as important then I, then there is never mark it as important then there is categories and then comes the main part also apply filter to matching conversations. This is the most interesting part about Gmail and filters. It will automatically apply the filter to current matching conversations as well. So all the emails which are in your inbox, which fit this criteria, they will also get this filter and they will also get this label. Also, there is one more option, which is called as skip the inbox archive it. Now, this is something that I use for non important emails. For example, an email is coming from Zomato. I don't want to see that email in my inbox. I want it directly to go to food ordering label and that's where I will select this option that skip the inbox I don't want these emails in my inbox so for now I am going to do that I'm going to say skip the inbox for you know at technolobe.com emails because just to show you as a demo after that I'm just going to select create filter now let's do a quick test here I'm going to go to zoho mail which is my harsh at technolobe.com email I'm going to just select a new mail I'm going to send it to my gmail subject test for video testing one two three again testing one two three <laughs> all right <laughs> let's send this email send now when i go back to my gmail let's wait here i'm going to refresh my gmail as you can see there is no new mail in my inbox because we selected the option of skip inbox but if I go to Technolobe YT, there is the new email, which is Harsh Punjabi test for video. So you saw that the system is actually working. It did not come to my inbox. It automatically went to the label Technolobe YT. And that's exactly what I want. Similarly, I have created a lot of rules for other emails as well. For example, personal finance emails are important. So I want all the personal finance emails in my inbox. PR emails are also important. You know, new things going on in the technology world. PR send me emails. So that's how I have created filters. Now let's talk about one most important filter which is called as unsubscribe unsubscribe filter right here this is the most important filter and this filter everyone should have it so what you have to do is just go to the search mail option and search for unsubscribe okay then again create a filter has the words unsubscribe create filter skip the inbox apply the label unsubscribe also apply filter to matching conversations why do you want to do this because a lot of promotional emails have the option to unsubscribe to those emails so automatically all the promotional emails will be categorized as unsubscribe and they will never come to your inbox so now when i go to my inbox everything is very organized clutter free spam free and all the important emails are just right there i hope that you got a lot of value from this video and if you did then please let me know about that in the comment section down below if you want me to make such more videos like I will be organizing my Gmail in a better way in some days. If you want a follow up video on this video, then please let me know about that as well in the comment section down below. But anyway, apart from that, please subscribe to the channel because that is very important. Subscribing helps a lot and share this video with your friends. My name is Hush Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.